thank you for hearing this bill. The, we're calling it the Washington Recycling and Packaging Act or the RAP Act of 2023. And if you missed it, we were giving out free ice cream outside earlier today. Um, <laughs> um, seriously though, this bill is long and it's hard, but it's a much needed modernization of our state's recycling system. It builds on the work this legislature has been doing since 2019. Um, Greg touched on it a little bit, but over four years ago, the legislature adopted through Senate Bill 5397, statewide goals to reduce plastic packaging, increase recycled content in packaging, and achieve 100% recyclable, reusable, or compostable packaging. We directed the Department of Ecology to do a full-scale assessment of plastic and packaging waste in the state, including the recommendations for better manage, management. The bill passed the Senate with huge majorities. Um, it was unanimous the first time out of the Senate, and which I think highlights the support of people throughout the state to stem the tide of packaging litter and plastic pollution that we all can see. So the bill before you today um, includes the major recommendations that came from that 2019 effort, and it builds off of work that members of this committee did last year with Senator Dawes. Most importantly, it requires the producers of waste to come together to reduce unnecessary packaging, fund statewide recycling services, and ensure that what we put into recycling bins actually gets turned into something new. Mr. Chair and members of the committee, you might hear today that our recycling system is not broken. We have one of the best recycling rates in the country, um, but I argue that it has to be modernized. In some parts of the state, families recycle gla their glass, but it's sent to landfills. We're told that pizza boxes are too greasy to recycle, but in some parts of the state, they can be. We thought we were reducing the sale of plastic grocery bags, but in some parts of the state, they just came back stronger and thicker than ever. And throughout Washington, those of us who do recycle play a daily game of can it be when deciding which bin to choose for our plastic. And in, in reality, much of, what we, much of the plastic we think is recyclable won't be recycled. So members of the committee, despite our best efforts at litter cleanup, and recycling, you cannot drive down a highway in this state without seeing garbage along the roadway. You can't go to a beach or a park or even a parking lot without seeing litter. Even for those of us who patriotically reduce, reuse, and recycle, it's impossible to stop the flow of plastic and unrecyclable packaging that enters our home. Washingtonians care deeply about that, and we've demonstrated that for decades, but our recycling laws were written before plastic and single-use packaging showed up everywhere. Things won't change on this unless we act. The producer responsibility system proposed in this bill has been in place in Europe for decades. It's been in Canada for 10 years. We know that it's re resulted in less garbage and more recycling in those countries. The system has recently been adopted in Maine, Colorado, Oregon, and California, and I've been working with legislators from those states and other parts of the country um, where they're also interested in this. This bill is hard. Um, we've worked it during the interim to make improvements. There's still work to be done, but it's time for the Evergreen State to take action on this too. Um, thank you for your work on this, and thanks for taking the time to hear it.